We begin in Florida with the Tampa Bay Times reports the state house has passed a bill that bans Chinese citizens from owning land in the state. There are exceptions if they hold dual U.S. citizenship or are permanent residents. The legislation has sparked protests prompting lawmakers to imply those against it are conspiring with the Chinese Communist Party. Sweet Jesus, what's going on in Florida? <laughs> Well, there's more news out of Florida. Ron DeSantis is still trying to set up his potential presidential run, which keeps hitting hurdles, oddly, that Donald Trump is setting up for him. But still, maybe this will help him. He's looking to make sure that he keeps one particular group of, uh, of migrants from owning anything in Florida, or at least land. Not even necessarily folks that are gonna be citizens, but anyone else like that. Uh, it's odd that he's trying to break down specifically certain folks who can, but we could see why considering it's Chinese folks. So at his press conference, he also framed this as some sort of fight against the communists. They have had a concerted effort to acquire farmland throughout the United States. In fact, they were trying to acquire land in Florida in Levy County. And that ended up not, not uh, working out thankfully uh, because there was some opposition, but nevertheless, you see what they're doing. And I look at things like farmland, it's important for community, it's important for business and, and, and jobs and the economy, but our food security is also national security. And so we don't want the CCP in charge of, of any of the food production. So we, when you see that, when you see what they're doing in the Western hemisphere to expand their influence, uh, we really need to have a unified effort in this country uh, to deter the CCP's ambitions and their influence. He mentions the CCP, uh, let's look into some of the folks that he's looking to limit from having this ability. Uh, one of these bills restricts Chinese nationals from buying land in Florida, unless they are also American citizens or permanent residents. Hmm. Chinese citizens with non-tourist visas would be limited to buying fewer than two acres of land that's at least five miles away from any military institutions. Again, with the assumption that if you're a Chinese citizen, especially with a non-tourist uh, visa, that you're out to do harm. It's weird how we keep uh, 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 pigeonholing certain folks. Just look at where they're from, look at what their face looks like. Check out their background, it means they're up to one thing only. But if you say that uh, obvious white folks with uh, with uh, Nazi insignias and also presence on Facebook and anywhere else that talk about how much they wanna murder anyone that's not them, it's, oh man, I don't know why you guys are, are, are making these assumptions about this person, they told us that. But these assumptions are made just broadly about a bunch of folks. So by the way, so with that type of situation in place, a Chinese citizen living in the USA on a visa, a recent college grad or something like that, would not be allowed to buy a home in this situation five miles or two acres worth near any kind of military base. So it restricts that type of access as well. But what it does look like, Adrian, and I only remember this was I didn't. From 150 years ago, this one act, the Chinese Exclusion Act, I guess, we don't name them as blatant as we used to. <laughs> From 1882, the Chinese Exclusion Act provided an absolute 10 year ban on Chinese laborers immigrating to the US. And for the first time, the federal law prescribed any, uh, prescribed this entry of an ethnic working group on the premise that it endangered the good order of certain localities. Now, if you think, Adrian, that they're not gonna expand this to whoever else they're afraid of, and maybe they can't have this right and that right, the expansion is slow. This type of of assumptions made about folks is slow and under the guise of they're coming for us. So we have to go after them first. It's standard Republican 101. Absolutely, and I really question the constitutionality of it. You know, the last time I checked in modern day society in the United States, having land restrictions based on someone's race and also you could say their origin too is kind of discriminatory and would violate a number of laws, um, I just I really don't know what DeSantis is doing. But then again, DeSantis has had no problem violating the laws in any way to advance his neo-Nazi adjacent agenda. You know, we saw him do that with the Don't Say Gay Bill and Stop Woke Act and all these other legislation that he has come out of his uh, GOP supermajority um, legislature there. And again and again, the courts will set them aside, will throw them down, and DeSantis knows that. But he will continue to have them churned out because what he wants to do is induce fear. He wants people to feel little. He wants them to play small. He wants them not to come to Florida because he wants to create a region in which white people and white power is on top. And the thing is, is that that is not economically viable. And so individuals in the state of Florida are going to suffer big time financially, all because DeSantis really, really wants to be the next 
clans member head grand dragon. And that's apparently the run that he thinks he's at the angle and, and entry point he's got into the presidential race. One more small point because since we're afraid of folks and what they might do and buying land on American soil. How about these guys? Let's jump to this graphic number five here. The Saudi government, the government owns the largest oil refinery in the United States. Uh, do the folks down in Florida realize this? Or do they also realize, realize that this other guy, uh, his name is Donald Trump, who resides in Florida, uh, also was open about Saudis buying things from him in the hundreds of millions of dollars worth? Because he's like, well, they pay. Why would I have anything against those folks? Specifically, this America first agenda when you're selling land Oil refineries, but uh, you know Chinese uh, folks that are on uh, uh, visas can't buy anything within a few miles of a military base. But this is fine. If you think clearly for five seconds about it, all these supporters of both of these guys, maybe you'll think this doesn't look that right. What is it that they really want to do? How am I being used in their stupid game of chess to continue to disenfranchise certain folks and go on a bigotry line of a campaign and I'm in support of? You're gonna suffer, as you said, Adrian. They will suffer from this.